will be the largest group of assembled fans in the Western Hemisphere. That's why they need a big house. Welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. Today, a rank versus rank matchup as a couple of top 25 teams get set to go jaw to jaw. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on the ninth ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Wolverines will put total leather and will get started. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Florida State's offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. He leaves it with the back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Third and six, and they'll need a big play here on this opening drive. Back to throw. It's Uyunga Lele. Gets it out quickly. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. The Knowles will snap it on first and ten. They'll run it from the gun. Nice move to keep running. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Knowles injecting some attitude, throwing the spear down and declaring they're going to run the football. Run the football, be aggressive. Uh, this is the part of the offense that, remember, it was a long time before State offensive line play wasn't good enough. they got to get that physicality, that run game, if they want to be a great program again. The give is to Williams. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. On second down, he'll let it fly. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. When Bobby Bowden built this program, high-flying offenses, great quarterback play, innovation, and that's what they hope they'll see on this play today. Yeah, and it was year after year, man. He found so many elite athletes, such good recruiting in the state of Florida, and when the Seminoles get those guys, man, those teams fly. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. Didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep that in mind. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Complete downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. 
and you've always got to be careful around the sideline to not step out accidentally. So that wide receiver did a really nice job on that route to bring the ball in while on a tight route. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. From the gun, the ground game. Got the first down and more. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Little touch pass to the receiver. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, game if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket this slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. This crowd knows when to bring it. Back to throw it to Uyangalale. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send out the field goal unit. The holder will kneel at the 24, a 34-yarder coming from the right hash. And the try is no good. And the score will stay right where it is after that miss. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. A first down for the offense. Looking for space, it's Edwards. He is not afraid to use that stiff arm as a weapon as he bangs his way to the 28. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy on the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard of situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Here's the give off the left side. Bulls his way forward. Turns it on in midfield. Oh, look out. There he goes. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan. Man, it's easy to call plays when I got guys like this who can take the ball and rip it 70-plus to the house. How about the speed? He showed you a little bit of wiggle. This dude's got it all. Nice touchdown run by the running back. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-0. You want to see quick strike ability? It was epitomized there. Two plays, 80 yards, touchdown on the board. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Dozes him. He found some really good running room on that one and just about got loose. As it is, good return to set up the drive. They try to pop a run on the draw. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. 
this running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, uh, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They go right back to him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. You know, one of the areas that separate good offensive coordinators from great ones is how efficient their offenses are on third down passing plays. That was the perfect call at the perfect time and obviously executed. The Seminoles have it with a first and ten. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Got the first down and more. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. This defense really needs to be careful, and they have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball because he is dangerous in space. And the Seminoles are moving quickly down the field. Pushes toward the goal line. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, no! And there is no secret about it. Line up in goal line formation. I'm going to run the ball down your throat. My guys are more physical than you. Six points on the play. Lining up for the PAT. Smashes it through for the PAT. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to pass. It's Orgy. He's got him in the flat. And he has run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man downfield. Can anyone catch him? He's at the 10. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Wolverines. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they put points up in electrifying fashion with an 82-yard toss for six. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's Hill. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. of time left and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Looking for a man. It's Uyanga Lale. Makes the grab on the left. Sweet feet on the move. Finally run out of bounds but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Much of this Seminole foundation was built around great quarterback play. Some legends at that position. Some awesome guys that spread it around to elite playmakers and it's just a great history at Florida State. They've been up and down in their recent history, but this team back in the day, man, dope was rocking. Everybody wanted to be a Florida State senior. Incomplete. He had it right in his hands for the pick, and I believe he might have been thinking about those big plays he's known for. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, they'll take to the air. Makes the catch. It's Lee. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first cover. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Using the quick game. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on that it's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole, he's there to do his job, and he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a manageable situation. Using his legs, it's Toa Feely. Blocked to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Renegade would be proud of the way they're using those horses to move it on the ground. Yeah, get the horsepower going. And, man, they've had some serious backs over the years at Florida State. And you think about all the talent, all the swag over the years. you got to get back to that, find those guys that they can really attach this offense to and thrive. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. On the run, it's Uyanga Lale. Safe completion on the screen. And he's knocked down. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on it. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Caught in the backfield, it's Williamson. And the Knowles have a first down. 
He knew the heat was coming. He had to get rid of it in a hurry, and he did so beautifully. Perfectly. I don't need a big gain. I don't need to hold on to this football because the longer I hold on to it with the blitz coming, the worse things are going to happen. I just need a few yards for the first down, get it out of my hand, get the first down. And the Seminoles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. What a great job by the backside of the defense staying home. A lot of times the run looks like it's going the other direction. What happens? You start to chase. Nope. These guys stay home and play their assignment, and that's why they had success. They'll try to make up for that last one on second and 15. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Breaks the tackle. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And I know it's not a first down, um, but I still like the way they, they ran the football here. Just try to make the next third down manageable, try to get it where it's not as predictable. I think the offense did a really good job being smart there, taking what the defense gave them. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. And the defense makes a play, and they get the quarterback down at the 26. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. He'll try to put up the three ball from 43 yards away. Field goal is good. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Wide out in motion. Looking for a man. It's Orgy. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Well, that's a really nice job surveying the field and delivering an accurate throw. You know, when I think back to Michigan quarterbacks, I think of guys like Elvis Gerbach or Tom Brady, Jim Harbaugh. Brian Greasy, guys that could hurt you throwing the ball from the pocket, surveying the field, reading defenses, and making quick decisions. This guy has the ability to do all of those things. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide receiver shows motion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? 
And the Wolverines will punt this one away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. On target to the left. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. And listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. The Seminoles want to pick up the tempo. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Open runway ahead. Touchdown, Seminoles! And once he got loose, it was all over. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. And we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage, defenses are going to have to get something figured out. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. What a display of explosive capabilities on that drive. 75 yards, two plays, and a touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. So they'll try to make up some of that ground on second down from the 16. Scanning the field, it's Orgy. Shoots it to the left. A strike downfield. And tackled there by the defense. You need to do a better job as a defender tackling the catch. On the curl route, he had a chance to break on the ball, get the receiver down, couldn't do it. And as a result, they give up an explosive play. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Looking to throw for it. He lets one fly deep. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? The Wolverines will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and he just squirted right through his fingers, and they missed an opportunity for a nice play on first down. And now on second down for this offense. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. The give is to Williams. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Seminoles line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Running it back, it's Morgan. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. 
Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Looking to go up top on first down. It's caught. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage. And as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the big house when it's full and rocking as it is today in Ann Arbor. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the big house. The Knowles will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Tight game as we start the third quarter and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. They'll go to the ground. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover, guys. I make tackles. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Works the middle of the field. Good, solid pickup on that one. They got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Yeah, this defense is going to have to have a plan for this tight end, especially when he lines up in the slot, because there's a lot of different routes he can run, and because of his size and his wingspan, he's very, very difficult to cover. And the Wolverines getting set on first and 10. To the ground with the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow it's second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking for room. It's Edwards. Powers through. What a nifty one there to pick up the first down. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because... It just, it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself. At the end of the day, it's a tackle for loss. Uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carrier. 
Softened him up with a run and now to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Loveland. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Quickly complete. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. When the offense gets in those multiple tight end looks, you kind of have a good understanding of what's coming. You don't know where the ball's going necessarily, but they'll put those big old bodies in there to block, to move people, to put more mass on the field, especially once you get in this red area where you have to be able to run the football effectively. Those passing windows tend to shrink a lot. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Feeling some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. All right, this offense needs to come up with a solution for this defensive end because he is a problem. They have got to find a way to help out the offensive tackle to prevent this guy from getting to the quarterback. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Blitz the uprights right down the middle. And that's going to tie it up. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Fires to the wideout. He makes a catch. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Well, nice job hauling that pass in. I'll tell you, he keeps defenses on their heels. He really does. His speed is so scary. And I think back to my days in college, we used to play against the Seminoles when they had Peter Warwick and Lavernia Schools. And because of their game-breaking ability, it put so much pressure on our defense. I'll tell you, this guy's good enough to, I think, have played on that Seminole offense. And he would have gotten some looks. Could he? This guy can make some plays. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Ready to fire from the pistol. They go to the ground. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. He'll pull it on the read. 
And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Yeah, and a great job by the defense holding the line of scrimmage, playing downhill, playing responsibility football, making sure they shut down that option play. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Getting some heat. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. The Seminoles will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. On the run, it's Edwards. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? To the air, it's Orgy. They're bringing heat. And they got him for the sack. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. <laughs> and often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. The Wolverines send out the punt unit. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. This is when winning plays are made, and we start right now in the fourth. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. All right, so not a home run play for the offense, but I do like the creativity, and I like how they're going to stress this defense and do it in less conventional ways. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Some misdirection with the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the job by this defense today? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Setting up the screen. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. You got to give credit to the play calling. The screen pass on third down. I'm just trying to go feast on quarterbacks. I'm trying to get upfield, pad my stats, get some more sacks. They fly upfield and they say, okay, you go here, we'll throw it right over your head, get the first down. And the Seminoles are moving quickly down the field. 
Leaves it with the running back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional. They're just not being physical enough to go attack. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Back to throw. It's Uyangalale. Finds a tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Yeah, nice job by the defense staying glued to him. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat. I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the D. A field goal attempt from here would be 54 yards. They'd love to pick up a few on third down. From the gun. Wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. It is perfect. And now they regain the lead. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. The returner will field it and try to do some business. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. The give to the tailback. Gets it past the marker. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. I bet that running back's eyes got so big. When he gets that handoff going to the right and he sees the huge holes, yes, please. The defense just didn't flow quickly enough. All of the blockers had leverage on their men. And that defensive line has to get off the ball a little bit better, get some penetration to stop that outside run. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run play action. And the pressure was in his grill in an eyelash. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. To the air, it's Orgy. Throws to the wideout. Fires and picked off. He'll try to take it back. Oh, he was hoping for the pick six. Instead, he got it down to the 16-yard line. And that's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on it. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. You kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. 
touch pass on the jet sweep. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Had it right in his hands in the middle of the field, and it trickled to the ground. It'll be fourth down. And with that incompletion, it now sets up a very interesting decision for the head coach, right? You've got a narrow lead. You kick the field goal now, you force the opponent to have to at least score a touchdown to retake the lead, but you can also seize a lot of momentum if you get it here on fourth and short. If you're able to score a touchdown, this is a completely different game. It is good! Well, they're able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would have liked to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown, but listen, teams will take three points any way they can get it. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. He'll bring it out. It's Morris. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Trying play action. Coming after it. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. This has got to be frustrating for the offensive coordinator because you've had receivers open down the field, just haven't had time to get them the football. This defense doing an outstanding job with their pass rush. Pivotal moment, perhaps even a decisive play coming on third and three. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Snagged in the middle, it's Loveland. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. I think the great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end, throws a strike, gets the first down. Here's the handoff. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. After picking up a couple at second and eight. To the air, it's Orgy. Fires to the tight end. Fights off the defender. And he delivers the stiff arm for a solid pickup on the play. When you're dealing with the big tight end, you better get a bunch of hats around the football. And here's the thing, Reese. These used to be big, slow tight ends. Now these guys are absolute freaks. They're so good. You can split them out wide. You can put them in the formation. They can do so much. And you see after the catch, hard to get to the ground. At midfield, he's got room. Giving him his pads. And they got the defense on that one. And they get it to the 29-yard line. Third down and inches, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to be physical and they're going to run the football, but they still executed a good level. Not only picking up the first down, chewing up more yardage to make this drive even easier. And the Wolverines have their offense in high gear. Going up top on first down. He's moving out of the pocket. He's going to take off. Short gain on the play before he slides. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Now on second down. Three, two, three, two, three. 
He's looking to throw. Quarterback adapting. Trying to escape and get it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Man, these are these are killers, right? Late in the game, in the fourth quarter, you, you get into the quarterback, but he does such a great job scrambling around. When you do this, you, you get extra first downs. You start to wear those defensive linemen out. So late in the game, this could pay off. Great job getting the first down. They'll run it on first and goal. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Second and goal coming up. Now they're going to throw it. Trying to get to it. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. We just need better execution on offense right now. Not able to get it done on first down. And now they give up the sack. If you're the head coach right now, you might want to think about a timeout. Make sure your guys have their minds right. Third and goal from way back there. Looking to throw. It's Orgy. Quarterback strolling away. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Michigan. And they take it in. They take it in for six more points. And that drive right there is exactly what you dream about. That's how you want your offense to perform. Under a clutch situation, you take the ball down the field, get the score, and now an extra point away from taking the lead late in this ball. Game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point gives them a one-point lead here in the fourth. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, and he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Unloads to the wideout. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, the receiver was double covered on that play, and I don't know if the decision by the QB had to do with the pressure. Because he was hurried, he just had to get rid of that faster than he wanted to. He's lucky he didn't come away with an interception. Remember, all they have to do is get it close enough for a field goal here. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Got his man! The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Back to pass. It's Uyangalale. He looks that one in nicely. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. He finds a dead spot in the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. It's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. Line getting set on second down. They'll give it on the counter. And he has had a long day at the office, not to mention the backfield, as the defense has been all over him. And this field goal attempt might be their chance to save themselves. 
This almost certainly to win the game. Timeout called by the defense and 15 seconds to go in this one. This field goal unit getting some serious run. They've already been out there three times. A kicker will try it again. And that is no good. But a flag is down on the field, so hold on. Let's see what this is about. Might be the worst case scenario for this defense. Thought they'd held them to three. Now the offense with a chance for more. Timeout is called by the defense, and 12 seconds remain in the football game. So here comes the field goal unit again. This kicker has already made three in this one. And this one to put them on top, and it is getting late. The official says no good. And guys, not only a miss, but a missed opportunity to take the lead. Man, there is nothing worse in the world than that feeling right there. Missing a field goal when your team needs it the most, that's what you do. You're a kicker. You're supposed to make those man oh man Paul, or that stain. He's going to carry that miss for a long time, too, David. Obviously, the offense and the team put him in a position to come through for them. He's just going to have to learn from this, get back to practice, and want to make it next time he gets that opportunity.